Hi, let's have a look at safety and laboratory rules. Number one, students may not enter biology laboratory without the presence of a lecturer. If you arrive early, you need to wait for your lecturer to arrive first. Number two, a lab coat must be worn at all times during laboratory experiments. So make sure that you bring along a lab coat. Number three, wear appropriate clothing in the laboratory. Number four, headgear must be tucked inside lab coat and baggy clothing must be secured. So ladies, make sure that your tudong is inside a lab coat. Number five, long hair must be tied back. Make sure that you tie your hair properly. Number six, shoes must completely cover the feet. Number seven, it's very important for you to know locations and operation of all safety equipment, including first aid kit, eye washers, body showers, and fire extinguishers. Number eight, Students must not eat or drink in the laboratory, which means you cannot bring your food or drink in a lab. Number nine, lab bench must be clear of your personal belongings. Bags and other personal items must be placed on the shelves provided. These shelves are located outside the laboratory. Number 10, be prepared for your work in the laboratory. Read all procedures thoroughly before entering the laboratory. Make sure that you read first. Number 11, report any accidents such as spills, breakages, or injuries to your lecturer immediately. Number 12, put broken glasses into broken glass container. If your glass slide is broken, then you have to throw it away in a proper broken glass container. Number 13, dispose all chemical waste in a container provided in the lab. And make sure do not throw it in the sink. We move on. Number 14, perform only experiments authorized by your lecturer. For example, if you are going to do experiment one in a respective week, only that experiment is allowed. Number 15, all glassware must be washed and rinsed after use and test tube must be placed upside down in the racks provided. The racks are located near to the bench or at the back of the bench. Number 16, Chemicals and lab equipment should never be taken out of a laboratory unless with permission from the lab technician. Number 17. Leave the laboratory clean and dry. Wipe with paper towel if your bench is wet. And last but not least, before you want to leave a lab, make sure that you wash your hands properly. So, these are the 18 rules that you must follow. Okay, see you around again and do not forget to subscribe our channel which is Asset Biology. Don't forget to share it. Okay, bye! out the lab microscope cover and put it aside I make sure that I switch on the power plug and also the switch on button of the light microscope okay next I'll make sure also the illuminator okay will emit the light and the amount of light I can control using this knob. Next, a stage 
I will lower it down and how to do it I'm using the coarse or fine knot so in this case I will lower it and then I will place my sample so my specimen for today is alien root I want to see stage of mitosis I will place it at the mechanical stage and there's a clip there and using the knob below the mechanical stage I can move the stage left or right or front or at the back okay I'll make sure that the source of the light from the illuminator is passing through my specimen and then from here I want to show you the objective lens there are four of it and I'll make sure that uh, the objective lens is click into position all right for example okay it will click each time I move the objective lens all right okay now I want to show you how I can use the uh, light microscope to observe my specimen I will place my eye at the eyepiece and then I have a look at my specimen at this moment I cannot see anything I will use the coarse nope to move up the mechanical stage Right. Okay, so I've managed to locate my specimen. Normally, to locate my specimen, I will use the uh, lowest objective lens, which is four times. But for today's study, I want to ob uh, observe uh, the uh, stage of uh, mitosis in uh, alien species using 40 times of objective lens. So how to do that? Very simple. I just switch this objective lens from 4 times to 10 times and adjust it again to get a sharper image using either fine or coarse nope. And then next, I will switch it again to 40 times of the objective lens. At this time, you can see the objective lens is longer compared to the 10 times of the objective lens. So now, you need to use the fine knob to look at your specimen. Wow! Now, I can see very sharply all the stage of mitosis. I can see the metaphase stage at these alien species. I also can see stage of prophase and also telophase. Okay, let's say um, the light is too much or it is too bright. So what I need to do is I need to control the amount of light using the condenser. It is located below the mechanical stage and all you need to do is to move okay move this uh, condenser and check again your sample to see does the light intensity is reduced or not and then after that I also can control the amount of light that I need by using the illuminator after I uh, observe my slide I draw I identify the stage of mitosis I need to uh, remove the sample because you need to switch off your light microscope okay as simple as that you need to make sure that the stage is lowered remove your specimen okay and then next, 
make sure that the light amount, the light intensity, okay, the knob, make sure the light intensity is lowered and switch off the on off button at the back of the light microscope and also the power source. And before I want to leave my lab, I'll also make sure that the objective lens of four times must be located vertically with the light source. Okay, and then I cover it back with the light microscope cover, place it properly so that this cover cover all the part of the light microscope okay so I hope uh, you all know how to use the light microscope after this and that's all from me I hope don't forget to subscribe our channel which is SMTG